So week four is now in the history books. And I missed seeing my Eagles play uh, last weekend. hate these bye weeks, but hey, all the teams have to have a bye week at some point. So, yeah. Let's get right to the uh, recap of uh, week four. And then I'm going to give my predictions on week number five. Okay, so on the Thursday night game, I did get right. Uh, the Cincinnati Bengals beat the Miami Dolphins 22-7. to No surprise there. So in the 1 o'clock games, the Sunday games, the Jaguars in London beat the Colts. They finally get their first victory. To be honest, I thought the Jaguars were going to lose. But, hey, they finally got their first victory, and uh, congrats to them. And the Colts, I don't know, man. Like, there's something missing with them. The Texans beat the Titans 27-20. to Not a surprise there. Uh, the Redskins beat the Browns. Not a surprise there. 31-20. Uh, Seahawks beat the Jets 27-17. Not a surprise there. What really surprised me was Buffalo beat, shot out the Patriots 16-0. Not by much, but it wasn't that impressive. Oh, New England didn't score any points. And next week, Tom Brady comes back. And we'll talk about that later. Falcons, I knew that they would win. I had a feeling that the Falcons were going to win. I love their chances. I said on my last video that uh, the Atlanta Falcons were going to beat the Panthers. And I like the Panthers. I mean, I like the Falcons' chances. That's Pretty much what I said. And the Panthers, they got some serious issues. And they're the NFC champions, and they're 1-3. and three. Cardinals even had problems, too. So the Falcons pull off a victory against the Panthers, 48-33. To, to be honest, the Falcons, they're on fire right now. Uh, the Oakland Raiders beat the Baltimore Ravens 28-27. That was a great game. That was one of my favorite games this week. Um, the Chicago Bears beat the Lions 17-14. Uh, mm, don't care. Um, the Broncos beat the Buccaneers 27-7. Broncos won. Wasn't a surprise. Buccaneers are not that good of a team. Um, the Los Angeles Rams beat the Arizona Cardinals 17-13. to Man, I don't, know if L I don't know if the LA Rams are going to run away with the uh, NFC West title or not. At some point, you're going to see the real Rams. But another favorite game of mine, uh, New Orleans Saints beating the San Diego Chargers. I said last week that uh, the Saints would finally get a victory in doing it against the San Diego Chargers in San Diego. I was right, but I was almost wrong. But I was right. Um, one game that didn't really surprise me, the Cowboys beat the 49ers 24-17, but pff, Jim Kelly sucks. He sucks as a head coach. But uh, Dak Prescott... I don't know. He's doing really good. I mean, I can't argue. But I'm going to say this. When the Cowboys and Eagles meet, it's going to be probably the most important game for the Eagles. This is going to be very, very important. We might, if we make the playoffs and the Cowboys make the playoffs too, we may have to play them for a third time. But we don't know. Do you think we might play against them three straight times? I don't know. We'll see. This season, I mean. Not three in a row. But, um, the Steelers redeemed themselves and beat the Kansas City Chiefs. They spanked them. 43-14. to They showed up and played ball. It was a different story during the Eagles-Steelers uh, game. 
Um, and the Monday night game, the Vikings, 4 and 0. That's the New York Giants, 24 to 10. It's going to be a matter of time when you guys see the real Sam Bradford. This is just a little teaser. Do you think he'll do great? I don't know. But certain teams are really impressing me. The Falcons are impressing me. Vikings, eh, not that bad. Dak Prescott is impressing me. And, of course, you know, Carson Wentz. Hopefully it's not going to end up like another Manning-Brady debate. Then we're going to have a Carson Wentz, uh, Dak Prescott debate. It's going to be a debate. It's going to happen probably in, sometime later this season. Who's the better rookie quarterback? I think they're both are pretty good, actually. We'll just have to wait and see. Because when we play against the Cowboys, we're going to see who's really good. Now let's move on to week number five. So on the bye weeks, the Jaguars, the Chiefs, the Saints, and the Seahawks have their bye weeks. Yeah. Okay, so the Thursday night game. The Arizona Cardinals against the 49ers. I'm... Hmm. These two teams are not really impressing me. Not even the Cardinals. But if I had a choice, I'd pick the Cardinals. Chip Kelly sucks. Bottom line. Um, I'm picking the Cardinals over the 49ers. And the return of Tom Brady. After his, uh, the Flategate suspension. He's going to Cleveland. To play against the Browns. I'm expecting Tom Brady to light it up. He's going to light it up in Cleveland. And I'm picking the Patriots to win. He's going to light it up in Cleveland. The Eagles will play against the Lions. Eagles have to win this game. This is a winnable game for the Eagles. They should be able to win this game. They have no business of losing to the Lions. The Lions are not that impressive. And even if they take the lead, the Eagles will come back and win. It's not going to be like last Thanksgiving. I'm telling you right now, that was under the Chip Kelly regime. And we had, uh, was it Sam Bradford that was quarterbacking or Mark Sanchez? I don't remember. I remember we got stomped on Thanksgiving. That was embarrassing. At least Turkey was good that day. So, the Eagles are going to win this game. They should win this game. Uh, the Bears against the Colts, two not-so-good teams. Mm, I guess I'm going to pick the Bears. Probably by three points or something like that. I don't know. Uh, the Titans versus the Dolphins. I don't know. Um, I'm going to pick the Dolphins to win. It's not saying it, but I picked the Dolphins. The Redskins against the Ravens. I'm going to pick the Ravens in that one. That's a winnable game for Baltimore. Uh, the Texans against the Vikings. Ooh, that's going to be a good, that's going to be a pretty good game. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. That's a coin flip to me. Vikings are undefeated. It's so hard to remain perfect. So if I had a choice, I'm going to pick the Texans to give the Vikings their first loss. But I don't know. Minnesota looks pretty good, but I'll pick Houston. Why not? Um, the Jets against the Steelers. The Steelers. Um, the Falcons against... Oh, this is going to be an awesome game. The Atlanta Falcons against the Broncos. This, in my opinion... This is going to be the game of the week. Atlanta versus Denver. This is going to be something. Broncos have been really good. They're 4-0. But this is the game they're going to lose. I picked the Atlanta Falcons to upset the Denver Broncos. If they are for real, this is the team to beat the Broncos and give them their first loss this season. Now here's another great game. The Cincinnati Bengals against the Dallas Cowboys. Now this is the game 
we're going to see how good Dak Prescott is. If he is for real, now he's playing a legit team that was in the playoffs last season. That I think they're still a legit team, the Cincinnati Bengals. Yeah, they're 2-2. Two and two. They had a little bit of problems. They're going to try to redeem themselves. We're going to see in this game if Dak Prescott is for real. Because let's think about it. Week 1, yeah, they lost to the Giants by one point. It wasn't his fault. Week 2, they... So they beat the Cleveland Browns. Horrible team. They beat the Redskins. Horrible team. They beat the 49ers. Horrible team. It's not like they played against and beat the Patriots or the Broncos or the Vikings. Cowboys have not played a legit team yet. And the Eagles did um, in week three and we steamrolled the Steelers. And they were one of the top three teams to go to the Super Bowl. Three possible contenders. Representing the AFC Conference. So Cowboys are going to finally play a team who was in the playoffs last season. Yeah, the Redskins were in the playoffs last season as well. They weren't that impressive. But the Bengals were. This is going to be a tough game for the Dallas Cowboys in Dallas. I'm going to pick the Bengals to win. I'm going to pick Cincinnati to beat the Dallas Cowboys. I mean, Dak Prescott, he's done really good. He may struggle against Cincinnati. But we'll see what happens. If Dak Prescott's for real, we're going to see if he is for real. He's taking another step. Okay, let's move on. The Buffalo Bills against the Rams. Oh, boy. I don't know. Uh, the Bills surprised me last week when they beat the Patriots, but they're going to go to Los Angeles and try to beat the Rams. Um, I got to pick the Rams. I guess, I guess that's my guess, I guess. The Rams, why not? Okay. Ooh, this will be a something game. The San Diego Chargers against the Oakland Raiders. I'm going to pick the Raiders to win. I like their chances against the San Diego Chargers. The Sunday night game. The New York Giants go to Lambeau Field against the Packers. Um, oh man, I don't know. I'm going to pick the Packers to win. And our ESPN Monday Night Football game. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Carolina Panthers. The Panthers. They gotta win this game, and if they don't win against the Buccaneers, they have a serious problem. And they better get their stuff together before the Atlanta Falcons walk out and run away with the NFC South title. So those are my predictions on week number five. And uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really, really interesting. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more. Uh, follow me on Twitter and uh, like me on Facebook. The links are down below. I'm CJ Hawk 85 and I'll see you guys later.